I can't believe we are finally here! Venice! It's one of those places we always wanted to see! And there she goes, the Venice tourist! We're Sandra and Horka. Today we are going in full-blown tourist mode and we are visiting all the must-see sites in Venice during tourist peak season. Good morning, it's a new, sunny, beautiful day in Venice. Today we're going to explore all the major sites in Venice and that means we have to practice on our patience since we're going to be among thousands and thousands of people just like us, tourists. And there's most likely going to be a lot of shots of canals today as well. This is a grocery store. I mean, come on. Not the clear water that we had at Lake Bled. This is the entrance to somebody's front door. Pretty neat. And you can see the gondolas, of course, with the gondoliers in their striped shirt. There will be no gondola ride for us. 30 minutes will cost you 80 euros. Love said. <laughs> It's hard to capture just how beautiful this city is. Every building is worth taking a picture of. It's hard to just capture it with a camera. It's one of those places where you actually have to be and walk around to feel how magnificent the city is. Here behind me is the bridge of Saiz, or in Italian, Ponte de Sospiri. It connects the Doge's Palace with the prison. And this is the last sight of the sky that the prisoners saw before heading to prison after being interrogated in the Doge's Palace. And they used to sigh when they crossed the bridge. Hence the name. sites here in Venice, Ponte del Rialto is really cool. We've left St. Mark's Square and taken shelter from the heat in the alleyways. And if you're in Venice, St. Mark's Square is a must-see. It's one of those bucket list sites. But I think Venice has so much more to offer than the major tourist sites. I think it's gorgeous piazza with so many details and I'm glad that we've been there because it's a must. Real quick, we have recently partnered up with iVisa simply because we really appreciate the service that they provide. And now you can get 10% off your next purchase. If you, just like us, love to travel, you know that getting the right travel documents sometimes can be difficult. 
iVisa is a one-stop shop where you quickly can check if you meet the requirements and to see what options are available for your next destination. So instead of dealing with embassies, you can spend your time planning for your next adventure. To get the 10% discount, you must apply via exploringplanethome.com. Click on the link and your discount is activated. And back to the vlog. We need to restock water. Now we're actually walking around the store since it's air conditioned just to cool down. It's so warm outside. I don't mind the long queue at all. It's time for lunch. Let's see if Dennis can redeem itself from yesterday's horrible dinner. Today we're going with pizza. This is a pizza siciliana with olives, a lot of tomato sauce and olive oil and caper. Oh, it's hot. Yes. Venice, I forgive you. Thank you, Gino's, for restoring our faith in Italian food. This is a really good pizza. We're also having a pizza verdure with all kinds of veggies, a lot of cheese, and olive oil. Oh, it's really good. Wow, that was the best pizza I ever had. But no Italian meal is complete without gelato, menta, chocolate, e caramello. Mmm, two of my favorites. And Hokan is having licorice and lemon. Oh, that was really good, the licorice. Oh. <laughs> and the lemon, super. Oh, after that, great lunch, late lunch, we're back at the hotel. And I would just like to say how much I appreciate when the cleaning staff do not change the sheet, still makes the bed, and do not change the towels either. It might be a small thing, but it's a contribution for the environment. Thank you. Woke up from a little siesta and now we're out again for an evening stroll. Wasn't the plan to fall asleep, but it's been brutally warm today and we've been walking around a lot, so we just crashed into bed. But it has been a great day. It's amazing that you can cover all the major tourist sites in Venice on foot in just one day. And that is maybe our best tips for you. You will explore a lot of the city on foot. And as we've said before, there are so much more to the city than the major tourist sites. So venture outside the tourist areas and dive into the local side of Venice. You won't forget it. We're gonna end the vlog here because we have some planning for tomorrow to do. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. Do you think it's possible to get a thousand likes? <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Better things will happen. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.